And welcome to the Twin Ring Motegi Speedway in Motegi, Japan. I am John Angel, and I'm joined by my co-hosts, uh, Faber and uh, Shock. Uh, and, uh, today, yeah, they... and today we're going to be holding a race between the Xfinity Series regulars and some of the drivers from the Hark Pro Series. Uh, who, who just finished off their uh, season at uh, the Canadian Tire Motorsports Park. So uh, some, yeah. of the, some of the Hark drivers that are in the field are the likes of uh, Tristan Wilhoyt, who I believe is in the 88. We've got... Uh, who else? We've got the, the 42 of William Duncan... Uh, the 60 of Jeffrey F Fingai, the 54 of Tyler Faber, and the 22 of Spencer Fullerton, and the 18 of Sean Angel. Angel um, had a team, actually, in the Hark Pro Series. He never drove himself. This is his first race, actually, uh, but he owned... Uh, Hamilton Auto Sports, uh, which was uh, which Shrimp Engritz drove for for the last Hart Pro Series season. And other than that, the field is composed of many of the Xfinity regulars that we're used to. Joe Nemechek in the 87 is going to be starting on pole. Anything else for you guys to add? Uh, yeah. Um, I'm very shocked, actually, the uh, 87 is on the pole. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I uh, cut you off? Yeah, well, your name is Shock, so... Um, banter. banter. Good banter. Good banter. Oh, okay. Uh, some weird Japanese good, men good, uh, good grabbed uh, grabbed me and shoved me in some weird sort of lab. Uh, they they cloned me and uh, I'm uh, Tyler Favor's straight cousin. Or sorry, straight clone. All right, and with that, I think it's time to straight get up. the race started. So uh, they're already waiting in the pits. Uh, just waiting for the send off. So you know how uh, the gay uh, side of Tyler Favor always, uh, you know, makes jokes about shagging your brother. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm not going to be making those because I'm the straight one. Oh. Okay. Good to know. Good, Good to stuff. know. Good stuff. So on Nemechek's outside is actually Jeremy Clements in the 51. Another surprise uh, driver in the front row was not expecting these two to do so well in qualifying. This is a surprising qualifying, actually. We've seen uh, front row Joe in the front row again, and uh, Jeremy Clements in the uh, 51. That's actually kind of very uh, interesting. Mm -hmm. I wonder what kind of car that out uh, the pace car is. It is a Corvette, a C7, I want to say it's a Z06, but it could just be a standard Corvette, I don't know. Did you just say Z06? A... Yeah. <laughs> it's a Z06. Z06, you mug. Lord Zed has come back and drove in the pace car, I guess. Yes. Um, pace car driver's Brett Padine. <laughs> And Nemechek wow. is going to lead him down here with Clements on his outside to start the 300-mile, 194-lap race. And there's the green flag. Clements with a good start in the 51. Yeah, green flag's in the air. Here we go. He may just clear the 87 off into the corner. He does. Wow. Great start by the 51. And Nemechek already falling back. Doesn't seem like he has a car uh, set up well for racing conditions. Uh, too much. He's already being shuffled back uh, quite a few positions by the likes of Will Hoyt and uh, Dakota Armstrong uh, surprising, uh, surprising, doing surprisingly well so early on. Brendan Poole as well in the top three. Yeah, Brent, Brendan Poole does have some talent. He does. Oh man, they are four wide into turn one. That is the four of Ross That's... Chastain checking up and they're four wide Ooh. again. As the 19 got shoved out wide. Almost in front of everybody. Yeah, that, that, that 
quite an interesting start to the race for this one. Um, so uh, let's head back to the double deuce, uh, because there's a bit of a story about it. Okay, so Spencer Fullerton in the 22 just got to find him. Where is he? Nope, that's the 16. Just that's that's not the right guy. Where is he? Is he alive? Yeah, it's just go back a little more. Just, uh, we're, just gotta believe. We're having uh, technical difficulties, everyone. Yeah, yeah. The, uh, the cameraman. We we hired him like on the spot for this. Yeah, it, it's it's yeah. complicated. Anyway, Spencer yeah, he had a Yeah, so Spencer Fullerton is in the 22 uh, Ford. Uh, that that car pretty much exactly resembles Scott Stackley's championship winning car uh, from the NASCAR Pinty series. Stackley actually is not running the full series in the Pinty series. You're right, he isn't, which is certainly yeah. different. After after the uh, after Canadian Tire lost sponsorship uh, of of the NASCAR Canada division, uh, it t turns out he's just a little bit low on sponsorship, really. Uh, sponsorship mm -hmm. funds, he just doesn't have enough to run the full season. Mm -hmm. uh, he did say Kaz Grala was going to hop in the double deuce. Huh. Interesting. Yeah, interesting collaboration with Penske in the uh, NASCAR Pinty series. Mm -hmm. I believe Steckley owns his own team. Or at least his family does. I think there was a near accident there coming off of two. I saw the the uh, 93 of uh, Legas Jr. get... Oh, no, just kidding. Sorry, I thought I saw him get really low on the racetrack. No, that was just the line he was running as Finn Guy tries to shove his nose up the middle. Uh, he's yeah, right at the tail by, of the field. Get by the talentless hack that is Scott Legacy Jr. <laughs> Got him. Got him. Morgan Shepard currently in 32nd in the uh, racing for Jesus machine. Do it for Jabebus. Do it. Do it for Dale. Do it for Steve Byrne. Dale. Oh, come on. Why you no react? We were silent for a reason you know we were and, silent for a reason yeah because actually reacting would would uh, result in a copyright strike from the fine bros <laughs> <laughs> the cunt duo of the fine bros <laughs> oh the banter yeah they, they probably everyone this throw. is the NASCAR Sandy series on YouTube <laughs> on YouTube Presented by, presented by Durex, <laughs> and also oh, presented by the Fine Bros. The Fine Bros. We love copyright striking you because we are rapists. <laughs> Explains the Durex. Wait a second. Wait a second. Is that a Dodge I see in the top ten? I think it is. My God, Mike Harmon. Mike Harmon. He's doing something except for crashing in the wall at Bristol. <laughs> <laughs> wow, uh, this is actually a surprisingly interesting race so far because none of the top guys so far are actually trying to claw that, trying to get to the top. Yeah. Yeah. We've got Angel running up the outside of Harmon currently. He's cracked the top uh, six or seven quite early on. He didn't start that well. Neither did Duncan, but he's now in the top five. So impressive job by some. What the hell was that sponsor on Duncan's car? That is. Uh, I believe that's Digimon Hunter Try. Huh. Oh, you know, some Japanese crap. <laughs> the more you know. Yeah, the more you know, Rainbow. Shows the rainbow. Shows the gay pride rainbow. Oh, come on. I made another gay joke. Stop. Stop being like... I mean, like, clone. with the 42 and the 60, there might be a little uh, compromise there, if you really think about it, because both of those cars are actually sponsored by uh, different uh, animes. Yeah, that's quite true. Well, wait, what's the anime, the... 
just kind of point to the Oh. Okay. Uh, the there, yeah, so if anyone doesn't pay attention, the uh, number 60 is actually sponsored by, uh, I believe, uh, Kami Got Kill? Is that it? I, I think. I guess. That sounds about right. Uh, Derek Cope in the Ice Aid. I mean, I, I mean Ice Aids. I mean, I mean Ice Aid. Machine. You mean ISIS? ISIS? I mean, yeah, he's <laughs> in thirty fourth and falling oh. through the field faster than Dale yeah. Earnhardt blew a tire. Yeah, it, it's the ISIS machine. It's gonna self destruct soon. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yup. <laughs> And explode. <laughs> Seriously, how is Jeremy Clements uh, still leading? Is it, I'm is it, not sure. Is Jeremy Clements the one who dropped the N word uh, once in the garage and was fined for it? Probably. Seems Thank legit. You. We don't know. We don't fax this uh, shit. Hmm. Dakota hmm. Armstrong currently in second. Uh, I remember. Watching him back in his arc a day, he's taking the victory at Talladega. So, I mean, it's not that Talladega. much. Talladega. So, I... I'm Don't you mean Talladega? Talladega, yeah. But how can I Talladega if I don't even know her? True that. True that. True that. Yeah, I, I seriously want to call that pace car a Janetta. Why? A Janetta. Do you, do you know what a What's Janetta looks like? I know it, what a Janetta looks like, but... Uh... It's a GT4 car. They've got two series dedicated to it in Britain. Two. Just taking my yeah. taking our eyes as off the race. For as we are just looking at the pace car yeah, and just... looking at his beauty, not paying attention to the race right now, as uh, Clements is still leading. Yep. Mm -hmm. And before this race goes green, the whole way. I, I can't see that happening. And again, there was a Talladega race that uh, about 15 years ago. That is Am true. Am I just seeing things, or is the 60 actually moving up in the field? I think he um, is. Uh, one sorta. He's up to... Th uh, Fingai is up to 34th currently. Might make his way After. up the inside of Martin Roy in the 90. The Canadian. The Canadian. The Canadian. Oh, Kenyatta. contact this there. This is surprisingly about, oh, oh. With Christopher Fontaine uh, was taken out by the 60. I think that was a clear message right there made by the 60. Yeah, get mm -hmm. out the way. Move, Get bitch. out of the way, bitch. Get out of the way. <laughs> Just wait till after the race. I'm pretty sure uh, Night Rate's gonna pay a little visit to the uh, 99 crew. Oh, and it's not gonna be pretty. <laughs> We're four wide again into turn one. God damn. All right. Yeah. Ryan Ryan C. Well, Swarles has a little bit. Who's saying the 25? Is that uh, Chris Dickram? Or I'm sorry, Cockrum? Yep, it's Cockrum. Okay. I'd hate to be him. They probably make a lot of jokes about his last name. Yeah. Yeah. William Duncan like, currently up to third. Good around the 40. Hmm. Who's that in the five? Hmm? That the oh, five? that's that's Jackson Scott. Uh, I forgot five. to mention him. Uh, go ahead, Fingai. Uh, yeah, uh... Uh, Jackson Scott, uh, this is a uh, one deal actually with uh, him and uh, Junior Motorsports. I believe uh, Scott is a uh, young talent in the Michigan area. So uh, bring him out for this race because why the hell not? Yeah, because, you know, what's the worst that could happen? Uh, would and Duncan winning this thing? No, I, I was going to say Russell Phillips all over again. Wow. I mean, yeah. Low blow. Low Very blow. Low. Actually, it's a pretty high blow to Russell Phillips. Like, I mean, it, it, it took his head right off, right? Yup. Yup. 
So the top. Yay, fashion. I don't know, where are you saying about Dan Weldon later? About what? Dan Weldon. Oh, no, I wasn't talking about Dan Weldon this time. Um, I was talking about Russell Phillips, who got his head taken off a NASCAR crash. How the hell is that possible? Um, it was a late model race. Uh, he was forced uh, roof first into the catch fence and the roof gave way. They later found his So hand. how does uh, that involve from that? Yeah. Um, I've heard something about a, a Jeffrey Fingai being involved in a similar accident, but nah. I, I, I don't believe it. Could it? I mean... I kind of remember it being like a famous American road course. Yeah. I, it, I, I don't know. I, I can't... It's it, not coming to me. Wait. Though. Yeah, it, it's like it didn't happen. I don't think it ever happened. I, I don't yeah, think I don't... it did either. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. But it, it's just kind of weird that we both thought the same thing happened. Yeah. Some Whatever. moron tele uh, telepathy going on or something. <laughs> yeah. It's an interesting subject, I guess. Mm. Oh, God. Well, I think we'll have to remove that from the broadcast. We can't be uh, sharing gory details. This is a kid show. Fuck kid shows. This is a YouTube. <laughs> yep. <laughs> straight to the point. Yeah, Finn Guy's uh, living... Sorry, uh, Kyle Shock is living straight edge. Yeah. I'm not no punk from Chicago, so you can shut up about that. And you're not a punk from Sandusky. Oh wait, that, that's a, oh wait, um, I can't I can't say that on YouTube. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, yeah, I'd, I'd say something worse than punk. Hey guys, I'm mm. pretty sure this uh, warrants a uh, commercial break now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think we're ready uh, to show some sponsors from uh, our main sponsors, Pinties. Uh, so uh, we'll, we'll see you in just a few minutes. Oh, hey, I'm Ricky Bobby. And I'm Cal Naughton Jr. Let's talk about kids on leashes. This ain't gonna work. Oh, hey, I'm Ricky Bobby. And I'm Cal Naughton Jr. And we're here to talk to you about plastic, the silent killer. Is that gonna work? I don't think so. Shh. Hey, I'm Ricky Bobby. And I'm Cal Naughton Jr. Do you know that cardboard is actually edible? It's cleaned up good. Real nice. Hey, I'm Ricky Bobby. And I'm Cal Naughton Jr. Let's talk about children reading too early. Why are you two a Welcome oh, back. It is overturned. <laughs> Welcome uh, what back the fuck just happened? to Motegi. Motegi, where Fullerton's Justin now Allgaier. upside the down. Just died. Justin Allgaier just, re just okay. repaged the field. All right, let's let's go back and take uh, a look. That warrants a uh, replay. That absolutely does warrant a replay, especially since we came back from that commercial break directly to see Fullerton on his roof. Uh, not a good day for Penske. Uh, not let's just all. see here. So Allgaier, Allgaier blew an engine, but he, instead of, like, you know, getting down as far as he could off the racing line, he decided to pretty much run hey. the racing line, and then Brendan gone with nowhere to go there. And wow. stacked him up really, really, really bad. And over goes the double deuce. That's not Fullerton's first time upside down. Is this another Hark uh, history lesson, everyone? Uh, it is. Uh, because back in 2013, he rolled at Indianapolis. Um, 
Yeah, Fortune's had some hard crashes over the years. Yeah, so yeah, so anyone uh, below the uh, top eleven, I guess, is uh, out of the running now. Yeah, so this has effectively become the 2002 Aaron's 312. Who else got? Well, I'll I'll run it back one more time. Let's take a look from another angle at exactly what just happened. Uh, let's actually get a few on uh, on board with the uh, 60. Okay, that's a good idea. Just because. So we're going to be on board his roof cam as he goes through the corner. Somehow Derek Cope has damage before we even hit the wreck. I don't, okay, no, never mind, he doesn't. Just kidding. But he sees the smoke, and I they get off the it. gas, but... And they're nearly at a stop now, and I think I really did do the best he could. I don't think he got a ton of damage from that. Most of the tail end of the field had enough time to pretty much bring their cars to a stop. Uh, this is what we call uh, a traffic jam in uh, Japan. Oh wait, that uh, involves uh, Godzilla. <laughs> yeah. Godzilla. 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 So Joe Nemechek was, I think, taken out from that one. Fullerton's, unless, unless they can perform some sort of miracle, he's out. Brendan Gaughan's out. Al Geyer's out. Unfortunately, that ends Tansky's day. Yeah. Do you have an onboard shot of the double deeps? I think we do. And before the uh, camera goes out. In front of Will. Well, time to use our uh, uh, helmet cam, I guess. Yes, sir. Got a couple of these. Cameraman still trying to figure things out apparently. Finally went to his helmet cam at the exact wrong there time. Go. Let's go over it that one again. So heads into the rack. He really starts getting on the brakes really hard, but the brakes just simply aren't good enough on these just cars. Just all so, up. Yeah. Just get scooped over. That is it for his day, likely. Uh, so Fullerton actually, they, they got that car fixed. He's Ooh, back out dang. on the racetrack. Uh, How even? Well, I guess it was a really soft rollover, and it, it didn't seem to, I guess damage the roof to a point where it's not drivable. I, I, he's going to be way off the pace, I imagine. But overall, yeah. that, that wreck took quite a few drivers out of the race. Uh, it took oh, yeah. nine out, in fact. We've got, who's that? The 24. That is... 24, that's Tiff. Tiff went out because of that. The 43 of Jeb Burton. Jeb Burton. Uh, 99 uh, and 89. Nine, 99. Who's Jeb the 99? Gordon? 99 Burton, is... Uh, Chris Shepard is out, Ryan Pierce is out, uh... Gone is out, and Al Geyer, of course. Oh, and Rhodes. As well. Yeah, I've seen those. And Fullerton is back out on the racetrack, but he is one lap down. Probably gonna be more soon. Yes, very shortly. So, I th I'm not sure whether the field decided to pit under the last caution. I'm just gonna... Yeah, most of... Um, basically, the entire field... Uh, decided to use this opportunity to make a stop. They're about halfway through their cycle at that point. No uh, it all comes down to strategy. Yeah. So pace car back in and going on to lap 32. 163 laps to go. Oh, God. This race is going to be long. Yeah, still, the 51 still leads. Yep. He's led every lap in this race so far, I believe. Some of the... Uh, and now teammates, Eric Jones and Sean Angel going at it. Yep. 
game before Sean Angel gets a ride in 2017. Oh, that's Clements into the pits. Well, oh, into the pit area. Clements has a problem. Not sure whether that's hmm. a tie. We're going to have to... And, well, and that lead is going to go to Dakota Armstrong. Yep, Dakota excited Armstrong this. doing well so far. Haven't doing seen well him... For... Haven't it, seen him do this man, well dumps him. In, uh, in an Xfinity race uh, so far. Yes, yeah, uh... He's shown his talent when it doesn't count. Yeah, pretty much. All right, and where's Clemens? Clemens is coming back out of the pits. He is uh, on the lead lap still, I do believe. Yeah, he is barely. on the lead lap, barely. He's, I think he's going to come out. Don't merge in front of the leaders, please. P please. Okay, it's fine. Mm. Yes, Clemens, you did it. Oh... That was close, but he he did it. Clements, you know good boy, good boy, good boy, Clements. Yes. That's what he thought of black people. And my God, William Duncan may just lead the lap here. No, not not quite. No, not quite. Not quite. Nope. William Duncan doing surprisingly well as oh, I thought the twenty eight slowed down there for a little bit. Yeah, but I think Duncan well, had to get yeah, out a little more. Yeah, he did slow down. It's called it's called breaking. Yeah, you don't have to do a lot of braking down in, down in turns one and two. It's nearly flat out there. Three and four, on the other hand, not so much. Duncan's... 42, given a present fight to the 28. He is. And back further, we've got three wide racing between whoever's in the zero car. That is Eric McClure. Uh, Elliot Sadler and Ryan Sieg. McClure still a thing? He is, despite his... Yes, McClure is still a thing. Despite his extremely violent Talladega wreck. Yeah, it's very bad luck. Yeah. Oh, I think is Duncan's Duncan got this lap. Is get the lead this time by? At the yes, line, yes, he, he got it. He He's got it. Got it. I think that's got the first... Him. That's got to be the first lap he's led since, like, 2013. Uh, he went well, up. He led up Walton. In the, uh, Xfinity series as well. Oh, well, that's true. <laughs> Both of you are true there. <laughs> Has to fall back I'm once just, again. uh, figuring something out here. We have two... Two Ganassi cars and two Joe Gibbs cars, right, fighting in the uh, top five right now. Yeah, we do. Could it come down to uh, Ganassi and uh, Joe Gibbs? It likely will. In the end, I mean, those are the two strongest teams. Clemens trying to make his way past Eric Jones currently. He'd like to get back on the lead lap, if at all possible. Of course, that'll likely require another caution. Uh... We're hearing that it was just a tire going down on the 51. Appears on that pit stop, his his crew just a little bit too anxious to get him out there first and couldn't get all the lug nuts on. Uh, lug nuts on. It's a shame with that roll, honestly. Mm -hmm. Anyways, back into the, the action right now, as I thought there was a caution, but I guess not. I don't believe there is. No. Uh, I must be saying things, just something. Yeah, no caution on the racetrack currently. Fullerton's off the pace, but not as much as you'd expect. Only about a second uh, per lap. What about uh, the 25 of uh, Cockrum? Cockrum, he doesn't even look like he has that much damage, but he's two seconds off the pace. What? How is that even possible? Lost a cylinder or three? I don't know. Oh, well, I guess he has side damage. I guess that counts for something. 
Yeah, maybe he just can't turn or something, and maybe it's not power related. Maybe he'll thunder affecting it. Yeah. Can we just talk about Jeremy Clemens for a second real quick? Oh yeah. He's gotten up a few spots. He has. He's he's really trying to work his way past the 28 and the 42. He wants to be back in command of this race, even even if it means he's nearly a lap down. Because if he can do that, I'm sure he can race his way back through the field if he gets a caution and get uh, gets back on the lead lap. And Duncan finally able to clear Hon uh, uh, Armstrong in the 28. Now this is getting interesting. Now we have a heart driver in the lead as of right now. So that means William Duncan so far is the cream of the crop here for a uh, heart right now. Hmm. Which is actually kind of surprising because uh, about his 2015 season. Yeah. Not so good. Though his brother and teammate did well. Anyways, moving on. Anyways, moving on. Uh... Can we get a check on the uh, 60 car just because? Sure. Currently t up to 22nd now. So really, that wreck did really uh, benefit uh, the uh, 60 of Finn guy, even though I hate to say that, so. Yeah. Having the battle of the uh, number 92, uh, I forgot who the 92 is. The 92 is... Goslin. I don't even... Mario Goslin? Yeah. He exists. Okay, then. <laughs> Everyone, this is Mario Goslin. He's a, he exists in the uh, Xfinity series. Yeah. Yet still, uh, I'm kind of very surprised. Uh, Duncan is so far in the lead, even though uh, he's usually around with Fords, but now uh, he's with Ganassi for this race. And are you serious? The 74 is in fourth. Yep. Just. Chilling there in Mike the... Mike Harmon, what is in that heavy engine? Uh, I believe it's a combination of jet fuel, cocaine, uh, Agent Orange, Pixie Sticks, and the Blood of Christ actually powering that machine today. Okay, Mike Harmon, uh, you're doing uh, something phenomenal here today. It's being a phenomenal. Look at who's third right now. That is Jackson Scott, am I correct? Jackson Scott, right? You're correct. Okay. Number five, so far, doing very aggressive. Mike. Unless if Mike Harmon passes him, which that's a total pull-up move. Yeah, no, Harmon forced to get back in line for now. Coming up on the one. So quarter even though left. after that wreck, I'm sorry. Uh, even though after that wreck, are still all the heart drivers still in this thing? Um, I think they are. Fullerton, of course, took the biggest well amount of damage from that. Clearly, but yeah, all the heart drivers still in this thing, and all but Fullerton on the lead lap. I see. Uh, there is lat traffic in the way. Is William? Yep, William. Uh, I'm just gonna just pass by him. Yep. Very easy. Looks like wow, Cockrum. Cockrum is very, very slow. He is quite slow, but he does seem to be fairly gracious. He's holding his line, and everyone's kind of going up the inside. So, so far, he's doing a good job at uh, showing the other drivers a little bit of respect. 
respect, I would uh, call that uh, something very rare in the uh, Xfinity series as he is slowly holding up uh, Sean Angel just for a little bit. Just for a little bit, but you know, I think or... Angel, Angel looked low, but the 11 of, uh, of, Coke, uh, of Cook really forced him uh, to stay back up there. Will Hoyt finally letting him in. Um, past the 25 there. I'm, I'm not really going to fault Cockrum for that. He was doing the best he could. I mean, Cochran is really respecting the field right now, so I give him props for that, actually. Yeah, that's nice. Nice to see. Something I have to see after his uh, horrifying wreck at uh, Talladega. Yeah. Reminded me of uh, Eric Mc, uh, McClure. It's nice to see him get out of How that car. How is corner. McClure doing? Uh, McClure is... Where is he at? He is 13th, actually. Are you serious? Is that the uh, ice coke machine right behind him? Absolutely is. That is Derek Cope up to 14th. Is this... Is this opposite day or something? Because the horrible guys are doing surprisingly very well. I yeah. mean, like, even though there's, like, one in the lead right now. Yeah, pretty much. Like, this is... It's a very weird one. Uh, weird start to the race so far. We're just past the quarter mark in, closing in on one-third. So, seriously, what is the bet right now between the uh, Hart guys and the uh, Xfinity regulars right now? Because this is actually kind of very interesting. It is quite interesting. There are two... Uh, there's actually four... Four out of the top ten are Hart guys, which is quite a... Uh, sorry, or well, Jackson Scott's there. He's not really a Hart guy, but he... I kinda, I'm putting him in the Hart realm just because he's not an Xfinity guy. Well, I mean, uh, Scott is uh, r trying to get into the Hark series, I believe, but uh, it's unfortunate because next season the, the uh, entire series will not be broadcasted on uh, YouTube. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure because uh, <coughs> Finn Guy is actually going to bring uh, Scott into the team next season. It's just unfortunate that uh, we won't be able to see the progress this uh, young gun has. Yeah. But he's doing it right now for the uh, TV time he has. Certainly showing what he that that he has. What I feel it like takes. Uh, we are. Uh, I feel like we're uh, forgetting someone. Uh, is uh, the clone of Faber dead? I I'm not sure what happened to what happened to him. I, I, he went out to get, like, a snack or something, and he went out of the booth to get a snack, and he hasn't returned yet, so... Here I am. Hello. Uh, they oh. finally returns. Yeah, uh, I was busy... Uh, I think this uh, warns the commercial break. I was busy murdering this scientist that cloned me. <laughs> well. Yeah. Um, you know, just, well, just kill him. Then. Killed him with the hatchet. Well, I think that after the race, uh, we will have to have the trial. Okay. For, for yeah, and hopefully, murder. hopefully we can bury the hatchet. Oh, that was that was a good one. That was a good one. Hopefully, the guy uh, you killed was black, because he'll get less time. <laughs> black people in Japan. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, yeah, true. I mean, they exist, right? I think it's towards a commercial break, so uh, right. Faber can uh, prepare for his trial. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Should be good. Hey, I'm Ricky Bobby. And I'm Cal Naughton Jr. Let's talk about shopping cart safety for a minute. Fire Safety Week is right around the corner, and here are a few important tips you might want to listen to. Wrapping your kids in newspaper at bedtime sounds like a good idea. Keeps them warm. But guess what? That stuff's flammable. 
Hey, we've all run around with an empty milk jug full of gasoline and lit it in an open field. But make sure there's a parent close by. What's better than a nap? A nap with a cigarette. I know. I do it. If you're going to sleep in bed, make it a hammock. So if it lights on fire, you fall down and wake up. We've all wondered what gasoline tastes like. Don't drink it. Fire safety begins in your brain at home. The caution is out at Twin Ring Motegi. Martin Roy has crashed, it has appeared. Um, don't know what for. Oh, it was in a battle with, uh, with for 12th with Elliot Sadler and the one, and that looked like a hard hit into the turn one wall. Let's take another look at that. The 90 tried to get to the outside of the one, really crowding him down, though, just a little bit. They get into the corner, and that's that's a huge hit for both the one and the 90 into the wall. I hope Elliot Sadler is all right after that, because that car went completely off the ground. Uh, he tanked that here at Pocono, so... Yeah, he's a, he's yes. a damaged sponge. He apparently is. My God, that is vicious. And Roy almost pulls down the track into someone. Yeah, but everyone else luckily able to avoid that. Let's go on board Elliot Sadler. This should be brutal. At 160. 130. Right okay. Can we get it on board with the uh, both cars just real quick? Yep, just got one with Sadler. Now uh, let's take a look at Roy's on board. I mean, still, the impact of that, that really took a chunk out of the two. Oh, I yeah. bet you. Shoplifting's fun. We've all done it. But if you're going to steal fireworks, forget it. When them Chinese folks wrote on that label, light fuse and run away, they meant it. Get the heck out of there. Remember, stealing's not good, but if you're gonna do it, don't steal fireworks. It's the law. Welcome back. Uh, we're currently under caution. Duncan is the leader. The five of Jackson Scott currently in second. Mike Harmon having one hell of a day on the currently on the podium. Uh, I believe they just had a round of pit stops under this caution. Yes. Yes, they did. Yes, they have. No major changes uh, to no, the running I don't order. Think so. Except, there. you know, the 90 and the 1 are gone. Huh. They're out. With the, uh, the, the 90 and the. Just the 90 and the 1? One. Yeah. yeah. Fair enough. Pace car about to go in, and we're about one third of the way through this one. For this one. Yep. And with the green flag back into the air, William Duncan's going to bring him back into the green. Dakota Armstrong looks to the bottom in a real hurry there. Yeah, we're one third through this one. Someone get the dryer. One dryer. No. Oh, oh, I get it. I get it. Okay. Uh, oh, oh. How's he doing so far in IndyCar? No, uh, he's doing great. Duncan oh, now in the pits. Wow, look at the. As is Fingai. Duncan Fingai. has a problem now. Fingai and okay. Clemenson again. Oh, yeah. What is up with the tires? That is the compound here sucks. That is bizarre. That's that's a real shame for Duncan and Clements again. I mean, he was looking to get back on the lead lap. Fing guy, that's got to be really disappointing for him. He's pretty much now going to be out of it, likely for yeah. the remainder of the race. But uh, Dakota Har uh, Dakota Armstrong uh, now in the lead. Scott in second. Before I was 
was uh, uh, interrupted. Look at the run Ryan Sieg is having right now. Yeah, he is hauling. He's currently in third. I have a very dark uh, thing that uh, Finn guy is probably still in the pits. He mm. is. So something a little bit more significant. Something terminal than... happened to the 60. Yeah. He has terminal 7 engine cancer. It appears he might. You're right, Faber. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, that carried over from Hark, I guess, because uh, Fingai's team really had some serious problems this year. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't he driving for Roush, though, now? Or is it, oh, or is it yeah. Jeffrey Fingai Incorporated operation? Uh, mm -hmm. I think it was uh, Fingai's site told me that he was still racing for a Hark, but now it carried over here for, with uh, Roush. That's actually kind of pretty sad. Yeah. So oh, why why isn't Shrimp Pancrates in this race? Uh, Shrimp had uh, some other uh, racing to attend to in the uh, deep south. Oh, lawnmowers. Yep, lawnmowers. You got it. The National Lawnmower Championship of Georgia, everyone. Yep. You, you know what the sad thing is that actually exists. Yeah, not somehow not surprised. Uh, I think really now the only hope for uh, Hark, I guess, is actually a uh, number five. Yeah, could be. Jackson Scott now uh, holds the top Hark position. Will Hoyt currently occupying sixth, though. The 88 into five could probably be a, another uh, possible uh, collaboration up there now. Yep. Look out, though, Ryan Sieg inside the five, trying to get him down the back straightaway into three. Could he get help from Brandon Poole, though? No, Poole decides to do something different. Yeah, it doesn't work out for Poole. Sieg still not quite clear. So close, though. He's going to have second at the line, I think, but it's going to be interesting to see whether or not he can hold on to that through turn one. No, oh, the five. Wow, Scott got a big run. Yeah, went all the way to the top and, well, the top of the normal racing line and managed to get it back. He just started in that corner. Hell yeah, he did. Thing guy's still in the pits. It's sad to say, but I'm pretty sure the 60th day is done after that. Oh, yeah. And now Scott under pressure from Brendan Poole and Brian Sieg. That's Cook, though. Taking a look underneath both of them is going to get neither. Yeah, Cook's doing it for Jesus. Is he? I thought he was doing yes, it for a leaf filter. No, he's doing it for Jesus. Cook is very religious. Oh. I, I thought he was doing it for vaping. Vaping. <laughs> is there know. a leaf brand vaping or something? I, I don't know. Me making assumptions. Yeah. Canadians. More, more like we're making memes. <laughs> all, yeah, all of the all the dank memes, the dank maymays, <laughs> all the dank memes. And now Brandon Poole is trying to look in the inside of Scott, but that's not gonna pay, fare well. Doesn't appear so. Now a possible theory, a possible theory, if the uh, second the game on back actually tries to work together. Could they, could they get a draft coming up to the uh, 28? I suppose they could. Drafting, not, 
that significant here, I guess. But, it, I, I mean, it is still a thing. But, uh... Well, it just seems right now, True Battle is second on back as Brandon Poole got way bad loose coming out of turn four. Oh, now yeah. drops to fourth. Yep, and now Cook has his eyes... Uh sighted on that 48's rear bumper, but here comes Ryan Sieg going for second again on the 5. Is, is that going to actually pay off? But it doesn't look like so. No, it doesn't. Poole might get back into third with this move, actually. And it looks like he might actually coming out of the corner. Yeah. If Scott gives him the draft. Which yeah. he does. And now pull with the possible crossover move coming into turn number three. Not going to make it work, though. Who cares about the lead right now? The true fights for second. Yeah. I mean, there's not a whole lot happening up front. Armstrong's just running laps. It's a glorified time section for the 28 right now. Yep. Bubba Wallace Jr. and Fullerton have been having... There's just no... I'm sorry, what? Uh... Bubba Wallace, Bubba Wallace and uh, Spencer Fullerton having a battle for 26th currently. Even though I don't believe they're even on the same lap, these two have been racing hard. You gotta give a shout out to the fans, I guess. Make things interesting. Yeah. Well, William Duncan's being teammate of the year, as look at the run the 5 has. Yeah, but the 39 with a good exit, and now they're coming up on Cockrum. This could be and interesting. And here comes Cockrum again. And the 39 squeezes the 5 up as far as he can go, but the 25... Uh, kind of between lines right now. Is the 25 going to go up high, or is he going to stay down low? He's going to stay up high. Yeah, and the 39 is going to go away with it. Oh, yeah. And the so, 11 uh, looks is, uh, in the Cochran middle. Is two laps down now? Uh, he is two laps down. Yeah, you're right. And it's now Ryan Sieg oh. up to second. Pool third. I'm very surprised at what the 48 is doing right now. Even though he is with Ganassi, he still, still hasn't had that first win yet. Could today be the day? It very well could be, as it appears Faber um, has left the commentary booth once again. Oh, I guess that's uh, right to speedy trial then. Yeah. As we see, K K Kiss Cockrum. Chris Cockrum. Still trying to be uh, less of a pain for the field. It's got to be hard to just watch the field go by you like that and he's doing a good job of uh, generally staying out of the way of others oh I know who's uh, feeling that pain right now and yet I believe he's still on pit road yeah he is Fingai is still trying to the Fingai's crew still trying to get that thing fixed it appears And yet, still, 
thin guy. I mean, like, someone needs to give him, like, some sort of contingency award or something. Pretty much. He's 18 laps down currently. I, I mean, let's talk about 20. Let's talk about the uh, 2014 season for him in uh, Hark. I mean, he walked away with that with a win and possibly a shot at the championship coming into the penultimate round. But as of 2015, that's not looking very good for him. But yet still, with some momentum heading out of uh, Canadian Tire, that just ended up in, in pit row today. Yeah. Uh, that was a long sentence. Uh, I need an air break. <laughs> Fair enough. Sieg closing in on the 28. He could become the race's fourth different leader. He drops to the inside down the back straightaway. Still got Poole sitting behind. Poole falling with him. Yeah. Very interesting racing so far here at uh, Twin Rain Montegi. As it seems, the groove is very much on the uh, high side. Yeah. You've got to have a very well handling car to make a pass on the inside. That or have some sort of god adjustment like Mike Harmon. Yeah, Mike Harmon's fallen a little bit. He's back to uh, back outside the top ten now. Racing alongside Eric McClure. Yeah, it still, with the positions 10 and 11th, McClure and uh, Harmon, that is still an amazing run for the uh, both of them. Yeah, it is. Ryan. Steak and Nicole Armstrong trying to pull away from the rest of the field right now, as it seems. Yeah, they've got the five by probably about five to ten car lengths. The question is, is Steak going to try to make a move at some point coming into turns three and four as he's got a very good run coming out of turns two? He does, not this time though, he's not going to take a look yet. In fact, wow, the 28 pulls away through turns 3 and 4 actually. 28 rather. Does the 28 know. just have some sort of union with uh, Joe Gibbs for this race or something? Perhaps. Perhaps indeed. Who knows really? Yeah. Well, we're bored. I guess this warrants a uh, commercial break. I think it does. Hi, I'm Rookie Bobby. And I'm Cal Naughton Jr. We like to have a lot of laughs on the racetrack, but today we want to talk about something serious. Packs of stray dogs that control most of the major cities in North America. Remember, if you see a stray dog, don't call the authorities. Approach it yourself. Some simple tips that can help you in this situation are things like this. Leave a trail of meat into a box. Once the dog's in the box, beat it with a pole. If you see a stray dog, don't call the authorities. Approach it on your own, with a rope or a broomstick. If it's a dog you don't know, bring a pole and keep your distance. Remember, stray dogs are not your friend. However, if you see one, walk right up to it and lay down. Stray dogs, they're not your friend, or they could be. Welcome back, and Dakota Armstrong has just caught Bubba Wallace Jr. and Spencer Fullerton trying to lap them here, getting held up a little bit, the six, really holding the bottom, and the 39's all over him as a result. The five up the inside of both of them, though, he might get second. Might get second here, indeed, as uh, the 22 might hold up the 39 coming out of uh, turn four. 
Yeah. Yeah. But it's not looking right that right now as there is three wide. Yeah, and the five really had to check up there as did the eleven. Now if the six and the twenty two side by side. It's kinda like very that, interesting right now. Yeah. But with uh with Wallace and Fullerton side by side like that, like they were uh, a few seconds ago. They're really going to hold some people up. Practically the top five, really, is going to be affected by this. Because right now, I mean, well, fourth on back, really, is going to be held up by this. Because Poole, Cock, and uh, Will Hoy is being held up right now by the six and the 22. Yeah. Anyway, so let's go back on a few other drivers. All right, way behind the top few, the top six, it's Sean Angel, currently sitting in seventh. He's nearly five seconds behind uh, Will Hoyt, who's the first car in the uh, in the group ahead. Behind them, it's Ty Dillon, David Starr, existing in the top ten. That's, that's something that, wow, all right. Did not expect to the be saying that. The land of the rising sun, the ultimate wild card. Yeah, so it has been so far. Eric Jones rounds up the top ten. Mike Harmon still chilling there in 11th. Oh. Getting ready to, to lap Cockrum yet yeah, again. Chris Cockrum yet again. Let's see if Cockrum actually uh, holds up 28 this time. As it doesn't seem track. like it. Oh, you got your thing, eh? Hmm? Yeah. Yeah, I'll turn off the tap in a minute. Okay. As we see the 20. A comment now, turn number one and two, with Ryan Sieg right beside, right behind him. Yet still pulling in third, Jackson Scott. Yep, and well behind. Oh, I, that's uh, that's the driver coming in. Cockrum comes in. I bet that's a little bit of a relief for some of the drivers that might have been held up uh, just a little bit. But Cochran with a problem. Fingai is still hanging in the pits as well. Now, now let's talk about the 60 real quick here. Let's just talk about the 60. Because he is in a black car, in a black suit, possibly still in there for this long stretch amount of times. I Even though the temperature is 70 degrees outside as we speak, the car must be baking. It really must baking be in the hot inside. sun, yeah. I call racism. And Faber has finally returned to the commentary booth. Yeah, I, I'm now the gay side of Faber. Oh, interesting. Um, they they executed the straight side. Well, you're side. still in the race. Yeah, I know. Um, uh, they executed the straight Faber, and so I'm going to take over. Yes, uh, I know. Um, oh, I'm still in the race. So how can I be in the booth? Well, let's not talk about that, okay? Um, I don't think you're in the booth, actually, because I'm pretty sure we're just hearing you through uh, your uh, headset right now. No, you just got to believe. In the car. You got to believe. <laughs> Must simply believe. Okay, uh, this is this is weird. This is this is some sort of level of meta. Yeah, this is this is very meta, much meta. Dick three meta. meta five for me. Yeah. This is Japan. <laughs> this is changing us. Every yeah. every lap we go, this is changing us. This is Japan, baby. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. 
What did I just excited. witness? Someone needs a new pair of trainers. <laughs> I think I'm having a meltdown. Alright. And with that, I think it's a good time for a commercial break at the end of lap 100. I'm Ricky Bobby, and if you like hunting knives as much as I do, you gotta have yourselves the Eviscerator. Hey, I'm Ricky Bobby. I've searched all over the world for a realistic tasting prune candy. Now I've finally found it. Quing Long Zhu, the Cadillacs of prune candy. Hey, whenever I'm spending time in Shanghai, Beijing, or Taipei, I like to put my feet up, get a cool glass of iced tea, and enjoy a bag of prune candy. Welcome back to Motegi. Tyler Faber has just gotten lapped in that 54 machine. He had damage from the earlier crash, but Dak uh, Dakota Armstrong comes into the pits. I believe that's a scheduled stop a little bit early. I think yeah, he's the first car early. in. I believe Brennan Poole also in. No, rather uh, Ty Dillon came in, must have come in a lap ago in that three machine. So I think they're looking at one more stop until the end after this. Now everyone else is in, actually. Here comes... So this is... So this is indeed a... Uh, green flag pit stops going on right now. First time we've actually seen this so far. Yep. Mm -hmm. Ryan Sieg really trying to stretch out those tires and fuel. He's going to start losing time uh, to some of the other drivers. But... Uh, stays out to lead a lap. No bonus points, or, well, any points on the line this race, but uh, nonetheless, Sieg wants to spend some time out front. Duncan trying to stretch that Showcase car. Showcase what you have for the fans. Exactly, and uh, Duncan trying to stay out as long as he can as well, hoping for a caution here to perhaps get himself back on the lead lap. Sieg coming in, and Duncan will temporarily be on the lead lap. Him and uh, Faber, because I don't think Faber actually uh, has uh, entered pit road. I don't think he has. Also, I'm not sure who exactly is going to hold yet, the lead. Still, oh, God damn it, that 60 car is still in the pits. Yeah, he must be roasting alive in that car. Okay, we're stacking him up again. I, I, oh, I oh, oh, my Derek God! Derek Cope! Oh, over and over is Derek Cope. What? What did I just witness? Stop! What just stop. happened? Stop! Everyone, stop! Please, red flag. Plus. Okay, what? What uh, just happened? Let's just. Oh, let's just we've go got, over what the hell just the happened. Twenty-eight. That the was 28 the twenty-eight coming exploded. out of the pits, and he blew up. <laughs> That was the was race expired. leader. Came out, he immediately blew up upon exiting his there pistol. Is... That was... What? Why didn't they detect an issue? I don't know. And why didn't... Why did he continue to bring that thing out? Like, why didn't he just... Okay, there, there's Angel. There's Angel's the 18. There's yeah. the 44. The 44 is Star. Uh, he goes by. There's is the 92 Goslin. I think he is. The 20 goes oh. by. There's a big stack up behind him at this point. 16. 16 gets some damage. 16 is Reed, I believe. Yeah, Armstrong's had a few chances at this point to just pull that thing off the he, racetrack. Okay, but he's, he's, on, he's on the apron at the very least. He is oh, still on the apron. Not. And everyone trying okay. to mind their P's and Q's, they just want to get by okay. without, well, of course, Here's merging. Yeah, but... I don't and know why Ed, Armstrong. Dakota merged. just decides to merge. D does he not realize that he's only going thirty-seven miles an hour? Like, I mean, and then the the field tries to get by, but someone's not slowed down. It's the three, the Dylan. Yeah, that's the that's the three. Uh, that he's he's just out on the racetrack already, just minding his own business. Let's follow he's, him. Um, As I think, let's follow the four. Yeah, okay, so the, the four five. ran the five ran into the four actually. Right there, and that sent him down right into Dylan, and that's what triggered this three. whole mess. Okay, so let's back up. How how'd the seventy go over? 
Alright. Um. Let's take a look right. at so, the 70. He's coming it. out. But he's well back, uh, so he probably doesn't know about the stuff up ahead. Okay, so he he gets into that. He gets hit by the 18 of Angel. He did at he that. He just gets blasted by the 18 of Son Angel. Yeah, he's coming out of it. The 22 yeah. crashes in the 28. He nearly got that thing stopped in time. But then Fullerton, for the second time today, gets launched up into the air. And in mm -hmm. comes and Angel. The, the 18 just sends him flipping. It, he really the did 44. there. The 70 just went over the three of Ty Dillon. He really and the four of Ross Chastain, I believe, as well. Let's I, let's take a look at. Actually, I think you're right about that being Dylan. Let's go on board Dylan here, because that was a mess. Mm. He's coming around. Hey. He, okay, and the four just four just goes up into him. Yeah. I mean, not much. And hello, and not much. Um, either Dylan or Chastain could have done. Look at the air to send me ahead. Now let's take a Hold look on at that one, one in slow motion. Yeah. I think this video will be very nice. Look at that. And then Angel comes to a stop just before hitting the three and then gets Angel gets plowed as well. But I believe Angel that's the 92. Plowed. Yeah, he got he got wrecked. He got plowed not the first time. Yeah. Um, that was David it, Starr, actually. Yeah, it's David Starr and Mario Gossel. Yeah, it is David Starr. And that's mm -hmm. Star's Day done as well. He sure as hell is going to be a shining star. And the 16th, it gets involved. <laughs> hmm. Didn't we just see the 16 and the 42 dots or something? Uh, Jeremy Clements has damage. Yeah, that was Clements. He got that thing slowed down to 35 miles an hour, but... They piled in to Reed. Still piled in to Reed. Harmon, what a stop for him. He will continue on and will likely gain a few positions from this on what should be a very remarkable day for that oh, well. completely underfunded team. Let's have, we've got a rear cam of... Um, Armstrong, I believe. Let's, do we? let's okay. use it. The 54 is out of the race, I think. Oh, there's going to be a lot of people out of the race. Alright, so. This day in Japan just keeps getting more fun and more fun for us here yeah. in the booth, but more pain and suffering for the drivers. Yeah. yeah. Okay, there's three. Is Rico going by? There's the Dodge of Harmon. Har um, that means Harmon had an, an entire lap to come around, and he nearly yeah. got involved. That's incredible. Uh, Star had a whole lap. Reed had a whole lap. This pileup lasted 30 seconds. It really did. Okay, so he um, Armstrong decides to merge. Um, there's Benny Gordon. Um, Okay, Gordon finds some room. He goes by. Uh, the six goes by. Six is Wallace. Um, and I think the five decided that he had room to go by, but, but he really didn't. Not at all. I think he just, just I think he decided to follow six, but um, hmm. well. I guess he just didn't turn uh, enough. Now the four ran into him. Everyone, mark him. your calendars. This is the most infamous day in NASCAR Xfinity Series competition. Yeah. I think it's I think it's Brendan Pools that's going to be leading this thing. Probably not too many cars. That, there's not too many cars left. Wow. Uh, who's out? Most oh, of these guys are. The 28's out for sure. Oh, of course. Uh, the seventy, the, the four, the ninety-two, the forty-four, oh my the God, three, it, the seventy, the twenty-five. If, if there are only thirteen cars left, I'm gonna cry. The, no, there's a little bit more than that. One, two, three, four, five, six, okay. seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen cars actually. Jeez. Fifteen out of a starting grid of forty. 
Have you ever? No, I've never. And still, 82. Like, really, have you ever? No. Yeah. But we've got 82 laps left. And Wallace Jr. is a lap down. As far as cars being on the lead lap, there are maybe 10. Probably not even. Oh, sorry, we have 16 cars. I forgot that Finn Guy is still technically out there, but not really. I, yeah. Finn Guy's probably the only hope for a uh, hark left in this thing. I'm not sure where the ADA of Will Hoyt is. Yeah. Oh my, wait, wait a second. Brendan Poole isn't the leader. Brendan Poole's trying to get back on the lead lap. The 19 is the leader, that's Daniel Suarez. The 19, yeah. Where is he at? There he is. <laughs> All the way back, Duncan into the, again. What is going on with Duncan's team? What's going on with people pitting on the restart? That is so weird. Tire issues, I guess. I, oh, I where's guess. where's the double eight running? Is Will Hoyt out of the race? Uh, the double eight. Where is he at? Hey, what happened to him? What's He's happened? five laps down, apparently. Did Will? Did Will Wright get a piece of that last? Did Will he did. Like, get caught in the wreck? I did think he, just... he did. Did he just park? Uh, let's go around and check out. Yeah, I know. wait. Oh, oh, yeah. So yeah, you will. Wait, did get a chunk of that one. He's the one who I hit. Didn't... He hit the five. There actually. Actually, didn't spot him. Hmm. Yeah. And well, there team of the year, there. everyone. Yeah. And he squeaked. He was the last car to get by that mess. Was Derek Cope turned over? Hmm? Uh, yeah, he, he was has, He was on his wheels, yeah. Uh, has he turned over, over before? I think he has. Probably not sure where. Did, hey, oh, wait, wait, wait. So let's just get back to the live race. Yeah, was that a... Didn't he flip it in... Uh, uh, Sonoma? Yeah, Sonoma during a practice session. Okay. So, Sonoma was deadly in its first couple of years. Hmm. It's Brandon Jones now leading the race. Wow. This race. What is going Just on? This race. Wow. It's Eric McClure in fourth. And and Cook in third. I swear to God, this is 60 still in the pits. Yes. Yeah. Still theoretically 29th, though he'll certainly overtake a lot of drivers if he can get back out there. 15 cars. That's it. <laughs> if he can get back out there. Yeah. Will Hoyt uh, running in 16th. And out of He's it. He's out of the race. That's better than that's that's a better run than he got most of like the the 2015 Hark season. <laughs> so it's still pool. Well, I guess this uh proves point. Which point <laughs> is that? That point being. That Whenever any hard driver comes to any other series, that series is going to get turned upside down, and we might have a first-time winner. We really and it's not going to be a top dog team. What team does Brandon Jones drive for, anyways? I don't have a clue. Let me look it up. I think I. I mean RCR. Yeah, you're probably right there. Let me look it up. Shout out to Racing Reference. True that. Duncan... Is Duncan back on the lead lap? What? No, no. Duncan is... Still a lap. Oh, yeah, because he had to re-pit that car. On the restart. Okay. I'm not sure... 
Mike Harmon's back on the lead lap, one of a few drivers in front of the race leader, Brandon Jones, that mm. appears to actually be running away from him. But I just don't know how they're going to win this thing without another caution. I, I can't see there being another caution. There's not enough drivers out here for there to be a wreck. Um, you know the Hart Pro Series. You know the Hart Pro Series. They can make a wreck anything. You're not wrong. I mean, um, they wrecked at Pocono a, a few years ago, and there's only 13 cars left when they wrecked. Yeah, well, it was poked, oh no, for a reason. Yeah, and I think this is... Oh no, Teggy. <laughs> uh, no, it would be so not Teggy. No, this They're, is the I most mean... strangest race ever under the NASCAR banner. Yeah. Let's see. Jones, Jones runs for RCR. Okay. Thank you, Racing Reference, for that uh, quick reminder. Yeah, mm -hmm. that moment when Faber's running 11th and a second and a half off the pace. Yep, yeah. and if and if you guys have some time, go check out my blog on Racing Reference called the Racetracks of the World. Racing Reference, we're full of plebs like any other site. I think Racing Reference, a proud sponsor of the Xfinity Series uh, race here at Motegi. Yep. Well, Racing might as well to sell out for a moment. Yeah. Yeah, not a ton going on at the moment, other than a battle for second between McClure and uh, Cook. Both of whom are catching the race leader, uh, Brandon Jones, at actually a fairly steady clip of a couple of uh, tenths every single lap. Oh my god, if Eric So McClure technically, wins. I was right. If you can't get into a draft, maybe you can go up to the leader. Yeah, maybe you can. Or maybe Brandon Jones is just slow as hell. Just slow as hell. There, I mean, there was a team. There was an open wheel team named Slow Look at Mike Hell Harmon. Back. Where's Mike Harmon at? He is currently eighth. Again, running away from race leader. He's still um, around 31 seconds off the lead. He he really needs a caution for things to go his way here. But if they do, I mean. Could we potentially see Mike Harmon win this thing? Is that e is that a possibility? Yeah, if Mike Harmon wins, I think all of Japan is going to sink into the sea. It's quite possible. As here comes Cook, he's caught Jones at this point. I, I think I, I think um, Japan's going to tip over and sink like uh, how Guam was supposed to. Yeah. No, no one gets the reference. Not really. There, there was a senator that said that that Guam was so over, was getting to be so overpopulated that he was concerned it would tip over and sink. That guy's pretty dumb. Uh, I'm amazed right now that uh, this is actually uh, being overshadowed by uh, possibly Blake Cook actually trying to take the lead away from uh, Brandon Jones. Yeah, he he just got yeah, to the inside off Jesus. of four, and he is confirmed doing this for Jesus 2016. Um, yeah. and he might get the 33 off the corner. No, still alongside. Still there. Ma Eric McClure helping the 11 on the low side. Up high, it's Ryan Reed, who's going to have a top 10 run if he can just pretty much stay in the race at this point. Despite top the fact 10, that Ryan Reed. I believe that's his first top 10 since his win in Daytona He's last year. He's done that before. Why Yet still, this battle for the lead is very interesting right now, as we haven't seen really. Uh, nope, never mind. Chris Cockrum. 
Cockrum is out there, and he is still quite off the pace. Cook still hasn't cleared him. He's probably going to clear him coming out. Now he's clearing him. Now he's got him into one. That was quite impressive, actually. Mm -hmm. uh, but... First time ever, uh, someone actually passes going under the car, not over, under the car. Yeah, well, I think I think Duncan actually grabbed the lead with an inside pass as well. And I think their cope made up a spot by going over. <laughs> Are yeah. you serious? Well, I, I, yeah, I think technically he did, right? He passed Ty Dillon. Yeah. And probably Spencer Fullerton, maybe one other guy. And Ross Chastain, I think, as well. So he made three yeah. spots up by barrel rolling down the back straightaway. So, I mean, got to give him props for that. Also, can we t just talk real quick about Derek Cope, even though he's still not in this race? This is probably one more wreck that back into his reservoir as being possibly a uh, stunt driver. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, he finished 23rd. That's nearly top half of the field, and that's got to be better than what he was expecting uh, coming into this race. Which was probably a, um, not even a Wait, top have I guy. actually seen things? Is Fingai actually trying to actually pass even though he's on pit road? Uh, yeah, he is still technically in this thing, though... I mean, he needs to get out sooner, or else he, he literally can't pass anyone. Because he needs, in order to pass those guys, he's got to get to lap 110. And that's completing another 48 laps. And with only 57 left in this race, he needs to get out there within the next few minutes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he doesn't care. It's probably the best finish he has this season. Yeah. Considering yeah. Hark. Seriously, how the hell did we let Daniel Boyles win? Well, I mean, he showed a little bit of talent at the dirt. The oh, other sorry, dirt are you fest. talking about my penis? <laughs> Your penis? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, okay. you named your penis Daniel Boyles? Original joke, 2015. Yeah, please that was don't pretty steal. Good. That was pretty good. <laughs> Well, I think now, now it's a good time to take a commercial break. I think it is. Coming to 56 laps ago, we're in the final 100 miles of what's been uh, a race. Dragonfoot, bamboo pole, little mouse, Chinese boy, prune candy. Hi, I'm Rookie Bobby. One of my fondest childhood memories is sitting on the back porch enjoying a whole mess of pork rinds but I can't eat them the way I used to. But thanks to Bob Dawson's, I can eat as much as I want. Bob Dawson's Diet Pork Rinds. Mmm, that's a good pork rind. Bob Dawson's Diet Pork Rinds. Healthy and delicious, like a pork rind should be. Bob Dawson's Diet Pork Rinds. Hey, is that pork rinds of Bob Dawson's? Welcome back to Motegi. Just 47 laps to go as Cook continues to lead. Uh, Legas Jr. currently sitting 8th. He just went a lap down. Ryan Reed round the outside trying to get uh, go after the 93. But uh, after Derek Cope's flip, we actually managed to find um, a couple of audio, uh, pieces of audio from both, uh, the, both Tyler Faber, who was running a lap down in the 54 car, as well as Jeffrey Fingai still sitting in, in the pits in the 60. So let's go back to um, the 54's footage from the wreck at lap 110. So uh, we've got a big crash on the back ship. Big, big crash on the back ship. Mm. So, oh, you weren't kidding when you said big. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Um, is the car damaged? No, no it's not. Um, just nurse it back. I don't think we'll have too many cars left. 
Yeah, I don't think um, many cars will be left uh, after this one. So back to live, and Blake Cook still holding on to the race lead. Um, just went by the 25 of Chris Cochran, but the 11 coming onto pit road now, along with Ryan Reed, um, making their final pit stops now. Um, they're gonna, they're definitely gonna have some older tires at the end of this thing. It'll be interesting to see how they, uh, how they do in the end here. But uh, since we're in a bit of a dry spell, we figured we might as well contact Jeffrey Fingai, who's still in the pits waiting for them to get his car fixed. Uh, Fingai, you uh, you copy? Yeah, I do. Uh, what the hell's going on out there? Well, it's been uh, it's been quite a messy race since you came in with that problem on lap 60. Derek Cope flipped on the back straightaway around lap 110 in another huge crash, just like we saw early on in the going. Uh, what are your thoughts on that? Yeah, uh, I would really love it if I were to actually uh, get my crew to actually do their fucking shit right. Well, Fingai clearly upset uh, about his um, lack of being able to perform here. He, If he can get back out there in the next couple of laps, he might be able to sal salvage a top 15 even as uh, we continue on with... Uh, the green flag pit stops as we speak. You know, I'm I'm gonna actually uh, probably say this uh, horribly because uh, I'm pretty sure he's still cussing his uh, head off, still in the pits right now. Is uh, we're still trying to get more audio from him. Oh, he's <laughs> yeah, he sure is. Uh, at this point, I think it is too late. It is in fact too late now for him to make up any more spots in this race. It really is a shame for the uh, 60 crew. Uh, Fig Guy was really having high hopes for this event, but uh, it's probably the safest place to be there right now. You're probably right. Yeah. I'm pretty sure after this race, we're probably going to get interviews with uh, a few drivers like Fig Guy and uh, Faber after uh, this uh, uh, event uh, ends up. Oh, yeah. So Eric McClure actually currently in, has inherited the lead off of uh, the pit, off of uh, his pit cycle there. Uh, Fingai still in the pits as Cochran comes in once again, still having problems uh, with the handling of that 25 apparently, although, well, pretty clearly, I mean, he's well off the pace. And Cook back into the race lead. It looks like this race is going to be between Cook, uh, Jones, and McClure to settle it out for the victory here in the last 35 laps. Never, never thought you'd say that, huh? I really didn't. Have you ever? No, I have never. No, I've never. Wait, is Ryan Reed a lap down? Uh, yes, Ryan is. Reed is a lap down, yep. Faber <sighs> about to go a second lap down. Uh. Yeah, let's count the cars who are actually uh, still running, as it seems right now. All right, so we've got Cook, of course, Reed, as the 51 comes back on the track. Uh, the 16's all over the 11, but anyways, uh, there's the 0 of McClure, the 33 of Brandon Jones, the 25 of Cockrum, the 19 of Suarez, uh, Ray Black... Uh, uh, is that Ray? I don't know. It's, anyway, it's, uh, yeah, it's Ray. Ray Black Jr. currently sitting 10th. Bubba Wallace in 14th, several laps down, 3. Uh, Brennan Poole in 5th, currently running faster laps than the leader. Um, and then we've got William Duncan in 11th. 
Uh, Mike Harmon still running sixth in the Dodge. The 78 of McCloyd running seventh. Yeah. Uh, Legasse. And I think that the rounds legacy, out. Legacy, sorry. Legacy. Legacy. Yeah, legacy. Just kidding. That was bad. That legacy. Didn't. Well, I guess, I guess you can count Fingai too, even though he's still in the pits. Yeah. I need to throw you some music for this race. Music? Yeah, no, that's not in the budget. What, what budget? With all these wrecked race cars, I mean, it's a bad day for the insurance companies, man. True that. Don't we have someone with uh, insurance actually in the field? I'm, I'm pretty sure. Isn't Xfinity like a insurance thing? No, no, no. Uh, Xfinity is a cable company. Oh, yeah, it's, it's, it's I was thinking of Nationwide. Company. God damn it. Um, by the way, do we want to know what Nation the terms lights. are? Uh, uh, your side. Uh, do you want to know what the terms are for, for the bushwhackers nowadays? What? Th there are actually terms. There are actually terms. Uh, under Nationwide, It was uh, they were claim jumpers. Oh. And wow. um, under, under Xfinity, they were signal pirates. That's awesome. That sounds like a gay porno. A <laughs> porno. Any of the porno Sean and I would star in. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, here, here we go joke. again with this. Predictable joke. Predict predictable joke is predictable. Yeah. Well, oh. Does this uh, deserve another uh, Fengai break? Hmm. Another Fengai break? Yup. I mean, sure, why not? Alright, Fengai, you copy? Yeah! Ah! Uh, how's the race going so far? It's, uh, it's quite a thing. Only a few cars left on the lead lap. It's now impossible for you to make up any positions, unfortunately. But, uh, how's baking in the 60 car going? Uh, I actually, uh, told, uh, my crew chief, uh, to actually uh, bring some, uh, eggs and just, uh, plop them in here, uh, with a pan and, uh, some bacon. You know what? Fuck, uh, this shit, uh, I'm pretty sure, uh, my Xfinity debut's fucked. I'm pretty sure it is, I gotta agree with you there. Why in the name of all of these, of all of this world's dicks, <laughs> uh, you know what, I, I just said something so ridiculous, I can't even remember what I was gonna say. All right. That? Never mind. Brandon Jones actually nearly cleared Cook there for the lead. Still side by side. Still in good battle for this lead position between three drivers. Oh, right. Right. Why? Why did you say? Oh well. Yeah, this race is a thing. Um, it, it's like I think he can see from his car. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Uh, and then again, the... I mean, well, he's basically making open. breakfast in there right now. I'm pretty sure he can see this race. Yeah. The well, can he see it over the smoke from the the breakfast? Yes. Oh. Alright. Uh, I'm pretty sure eggs and bacon doesn't make that much smoke. Mm, I'm pretty Canadian sure the only bacon. thing that's going to make it even more harder to see if he had uh, Derek Pope's engine right now. <laughs> 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 May as well make some poutine while you're at it. Yep. The 33 just cleared the 11, I think. And Jones back into the lead. Less than 
25 laps to go. The 11 still trying to go around the outside. Nope. You know what? I'm what? actually kind of interested. Uh, is it Canadian bacon or is it uh, just normal bacon? Well, we'll have to ask him. One second. Hey, Finn guy, uh, Kyle Shock has a question for you up in the booth. You copy? Yeah, I copy. Uh, how's it doing out there, uh, old man? It's uh, still still running pretty well. Still a pretty exciting race for the lead. But uh, Shock had a question for you in um, what kind of bacon you were cooking. He was wondering if it was Canadian bacon or standard uh, bacon. You know what? I, uh, I don't know, really. They just say, uh, uh, here's some bacon from uh, some sort of uh, Japanese uh, convenience store. And uh, it's like, all right, put it in. All right. Might good as well put know. some fucking soy sauce in there, too. Sounds pretty good. <laughs> they got to know they have Derek Cope's engine. I agree. Yeah, yeah, Derek Cope's engine would not be... Uh, the best thing to have on that uh, yeah. on the grill right now. Anyways, uh, moving away from uh, yeah. Fan Guy's unfortunate uh, yeah. good luck, as it seems, as he's actually enjoying his breakfast. I wonder how soy sauce and bacon tastes. Sounds interesting. I'll try it sometime. You know, Let's just I go to Japan. I actually might bring it up to the booth. Really? Yeah. Let's go to Japan and go find a convenience store named the Imperial Viking or something. <laughs> yeah, but, you yeah, know, that's what they do as you, you say this, we're actually in Japan right now. I hope you uh, yeah, know. know that. Yep. They will force you to commit seppuku for saying something like that. Seppuku. <laughs> Yeah, well, that's, like that's what happened to the street. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm not supposed to make a Fire Emblem reference? It's a spoiler, you come back. <laughs> oh, well, the game's already out. Yes, but hey, there's still people that don't want what, Final Fantasy VI spoiled for them. And you know how old that game is? As old as GTA V? Yeah, big shock. Ah, big shock. Uh, Got him. Yes, my name is a pun, thank you very much. Yep. I wish you could make a pun out of favor. Okay, but... Before I actually uh, uh, commit Shampuku, um, we should probably go to the commercial break. We probably should. And this should be the last um, one of the race. Uh, we'll see you back okay. in just a few minutes. Hey, I'm Ricky Bobby. Big Red, America's number one cinnamon gum. If you don't chew this sh you got something wrong with your head. Chew Big Red or get out of my face, mother I'm Ricky Bobby. People used to call me Big Red, but I told them stop it, because there's only one Big Red, America's number one cinnamon gum. What? What'd you say? That's what I thought. And this changes everything. We are under caution with less than 10 laps to go at Motegi. The officials spotted a huge piece of debris from Faber's car down in turn one. <laughs> Yeah, um, I, I... Are you sure it wasn't in favor or some falling debris from uh, Derek Cope? It, it, yeah, you I know, think... it could be the remainder of his car as well. It's really hard to say. It's just sheet metal. Uh, I, and I think... all of the paint is scra uh, scratched off, so I can't really tell exactly whose it is, but... Uh, Who knows? He may have thrown a dildo out of the car. That is a clear possibility. And with that, we now have nine cars on the lead lap. Uh, the first of which is um, Scott Legacy Jr. 
in the 93. Then you've got Ryan Reed looking for a career day in eighth position. Uh, so oh, what's that? That's hmm? BJ McLeod. That is BJ yeah, McLeod. It is McLeod in seventh. Um, Mike Harmon sitting in sixth. Duncan still lap down, as is a, a Ray Black Jr. Ahead of them, it's Suarez, Poole, then the lap car of Clements, the lap car of Wallace, the lap car of Cockrum, and then McClure, Cook, and Jones. This just keeps getting more interesting and more interesting. This only the fourth caution of the race has been fairly <laughs> I can't say that I was about to say it's been fairly clean no it yeah. hasn't it hasn't been fairly clean at all no cars are just junkyards for uh, Dale Jr. just to buy for him <laughs> <laughs> Finga continuing to eat breakfast as he watches the conclusion of this race we should have just around five or six laps to go perhaps when we get the green flag what kind of spanner eats you know what let's get like one more final report from fin guy fin guy it's angel from the booth can you copy yeah I can copy uh, how's breakfast down there? How are you enjoying um, this race as it comes to a close? Well, this is kind of interesting. I never uh, thought a caution would come out this late into the race. Um, I'm very uh, enjoyable. I mean, not enjoyable. I'm actually happy where I am right now. I just uh, ate breakfast. And, um, you know, probably the best thing for me tonight is I'm probably going to have sex with my uh, cosplaying wife. <laughs> the more are, you are know. You Gavin the more you know. Are you Thank Gavin you very much. Ha, <laughs> I see what you did there. Yeah, confirmed. He's Gavin. He is Gavin. Mm. And the lights oh are out on the pace car. Six laps are going to be left when the pace car heads in. It's gonna be it's gonna be mainly between Jones, Cook, and McClure for the race victory, but it is possible for Poole, Suarez, or even Harmon to perhaps come out of the woodwork and make their way forward in these last few laps. Uh, they they That's were running faster laps than these three leaders uh, before for these Harman, caution it, came out. For Harmon, it would be out of the uh, entrance ramp. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yep. But yeah, I'll look at him. By the way, uh, one one question I probably should have asked Bing Guy: What kind of spanner eats breakfast at five at, in the afternoon? It's five o'clock somewhere. <laughs> yeah, I'll give you that. <laughs> yeah. Probably America. Anyways, let's get back to Brandon Jones. I blame America. Yep, pace car in and just six to go. Just six to go this time by with Brandon Jones leading to the field, coming back into the green flag. Less than ten miles to go. And, and there's the green. Eric McClure trying early as Brandon Poole is trying to make it four wide coming into turn one. Freaking got him down there on the bottom. Got him, made a few positions. Fall, fell back just a little bit from the top three, but he's got a couple of laps to make this thing work. So that's Suarez, and now Mike Harmon now got a clear room. Here comes Harmon. Here, here does come Harmon. There's still three wide back there. Oh, arms dropping back a little bit. Oh, no. He, wow, what a run he had. There he goes. Oh, he, wow, what a run coming into turn one. Uh, Jones, Jones with the lead. 
Jones still with the lead. Eric McClure now in second place. This is coming down to the wire with only four to go. Coming to the stripe. And here comes McClure. Eric McClure. But no oh. Jones. Back on the outside. McClure was going to head into the pitch there, but nope. That would be uh, anticlimactic. But well, look at the run the 48 is having. Look at the run Brenda Jones is having coming into turn one oh and two. Oh my goodness. Excellent run by uh, Brandon Jones off of that corner. Oh, yeah. And here comes Brendan Poole. My God, they are three wide. In three two. wide for the lead. They're going to be three wide with the lead coming into the turn number three. And here comes Poole. Brendan Poole. Now trying to fight for the lead as contact with the core. Never thought McClure would be running up front, but he is. I never thought and, Mike Harmon uh, was going to be running sixth. Yeah, well, stranger things have and happened. And I think Poole just cleared Brandon Jones. He did at that, yes. and I think that might yeah. be all she wrote for Jones yeah. here. I don't know whether he has enough to get by the 48 again with just two laps to go. Two to go this time by Brendan Jones, trying to fight his way back. But I think this yep. is indeed all she wrote, as Brandon Brent can Poole. just walk away now. Uh, Poole, um, running for the 48 team. Uh, yeah, they don't have too the much money. It still doesn't have a lot of money. I mean, for God's sakes, Ganassi. Here comes Brandon uh, Poole now. It White actually does not put a lot of money into the stock I'm cars. sorry, I'm cutting yep. you off, buddy. It doesn't matter. Mike Harmon. It doesn't matter now as Brandon Poole. Mike Harmon. Okay, Mike, Mike Harmon, Harmon is in the top five. He but absolutely that, is. Beautiful run. But that doesn't care right now. As no, Brandon Poole so comes Ganassi down car. the backstretch one final time. Ganassi car, Brandon Poole. He has come off a turn three and four, and he has survived in Japan. He's going to take this race home. Checker flag in the air. Give it to Brandon Poole. He got for him. his first career Frickin Xfinity Series win. Got him. And that is Brandon Jones with a very close second position. Led a ton of laps in the late going. Didn't have enough yeah, that, to challenge the 48. That, that's McClure in third. Yep, McClure in third. Great to see him have a Fourth good run for once. Harmon, I think. Yes, Mike Harmon in a dodge comes home it fourth. 12 dodge. 2012, right there. Yep. And that is Blake Cook. Oh, is there, there's a rat coming into the pit. That's pretty fitting. Mm. That's so pretty fitting after this day. Yeah. What happened there? Do we have oh, a replay? Guy's still in the pits. Yep, st I, I, I think he can quit now. He can give up now. He can give up now. Yep. That was Ryan Reed after getting sixth, getting turned around by seventh place uh, Suarez. Not sure if uh, that was from because of an on-track incident that I may have missed, or whether or not that was just a pure accident, but... Uh, Either way, I'm sure they'll be. Those teams will be having a little bit of a uh, post-race discussion. Yeah, if not this day, anything else. But at least good job for Brandon Poole in the 48. At least bringing home the win for Team Ganassi. Yep, definitely. And the 42 of William Duncan finishes 20th. Uh, sorry, uh, sorry, 10th rather. Just being the first car one lap down after having to pit twice to um, repair some various so sort of issue with that car. Very impressive job for him. Um, Finn Guy still sitting there on pit road, not willing to admit defeat. I think he's going to go out there and uh, I, 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 can't, I don't think he's going to go back out there and do the remaining 132 laps 
I, I can't see that happening. I think uh, it's time let's for Let's actually uh, get a uh, thing for him. Yeah, let's get a uh, an interview with him post race. Thing guy, you copy? It's uh, it's Angel up in the booth. Yeah, how's it uh, going? Yeah, well, it was uh, it was certainly an exciting end to the race for us up here. How was it down there? I mean, going through with it, I can't believe the run the uh, forty eight had for uh, what he had. I mean. It's still a good race coming down to the end of it, but uh, it's a shame we weren't we weren't out there for the uh, final part of it. But I I still want to thank the uh, fans here at uh, Motegi. I still want to thank everyone that's uh, watching this race right now, and uh, I want to thank uh, Roush for giving me this chance to actually uh, try to do something here with the uh, sponsors here. And most importantly, I want to thank uh, the. Uh, Pit crew guy who actually got me uh, eggs and bacon. <laughs> Fair enough. And oh, and uh, one more thing before uh, you actually uh, cut me off. Yes. Yeah. You know what, what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna walk out of this car and gonna punch uh, the uh, crew member who uh, had the hood up for uh, almost a hundred plus laps right now. So uh, you might want to cut it off right now. Hey, All fuck right. Face! Well, thing guy clearly frustrated with that one crew member. Glad to see he was having a good time in those final few laps, eating breakfast yeah. at five p.m. And and fantasizing about banging his wife. And, uh... I think that will just about do I mean, it. Well, uh, about his wife. His girl. About his wife is actually my daughter. Oh. So, thank you, Saber, for reminding me about him <laughs> fucking my own daughter. Oh. You're welcome. Well, alright. I think with that, it's time to get a quick interview uh, with... Faber post race. Faber, uh, do you uh, do you copy? It's the uh, it's Angel from the booth. Yes, I do copy you. So, uh, how did that race? How did you uh, enjoy the remainder of that race after you? Uh, well, after you got caught up in the Derek Cope incident on the back straightaway. Um, honestly, it was just turn left, Beller. From there, nothing much happened. Um, Still not sure where the piece of debris came from. The officials were saying uh, it came from our car. I mean, uh, what did I? Uh, did something come off the back? Or still not sure what they uh, found uh, from here. Still trying to get confirmation on exactly what that was. But uh, either way, uh, led to a very exciting finish to this race. Yeah, it seems to have been a good finish. Yeah. Anyways, I uh, hope you're satisfied with a 12th place finish. I mean, you got to be after seeing all the drivers go out of the race. Yeah, I mean, we finished. Yeah, and that, that's, that's certainly something to be proud of. Even for Fingai, who finished 29th, he's still got to be proud that he, that he uh, had a car at the end of this thing, even though mm -hmm. he finished bad. Yeah, I, I wasn't able to finish last night, so uh, yeah, this is a great result. Well, uh, we'll have to talk to you later, uh, Faber. All right. And with that, I think it's time to conclude uh, the Xfinity Series broadcast from Motegi. Uh, it's been uh, it's been a very fun time up here in the booth with. Uh, Faber and uh, Kyle Shock, and I think it's now time to sign off. Thank, thank you to all of the viewers and the spectators here at Twin Ring Motegi for uh, staying to watch what could have been a very mediocre race after Derek Cope turn into quite an exciting one at the finish there with some three wide racing with three laps to go and a well deserved uh, win for Brendan Poole. 